welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an AMX 13 F3AM. It's a tier 6 French SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Lakeville and it's under the command of Ellie Rocks. And he's using the stock gun. That's a 155mm howitzer, but it's got a faster reload and it's also much lighter, so it means that this RT can move about quite quickly. And it should because it's based on the hull of the AMX 13 ton tank. Okay, well, moving off to a firing position. 22.62 seconds on the reload. The only difference really between this gun and the top gun is accuracy and reload time. Plus, of course, the weight of the gun. The weight of this gun is so heavy that it actually means that the vehicle can't go quite as fast if it's in the top gun. But if it's actually got the stock gun, you can actually move quite fast. So it does actually pay sometimes to trade accuracy for speed of movement. Rounds out. Just misses the ARL 44. It's a nice shot, but it was a, just a tad too late. Lining up another one. Almost ready to go. The AMX 12 tons. Gonna have to be careful. Doesn't want to get hit by the gun on that AML, ARL. Almost loaded. And ready to go. Rounds out straight away. Direct hit. 117 hit points. Now he fired from that little perch there. And that means it's very difficult to spot for counter battery. But he's decided for his next shot. He's actually going to move down. And shoot from a conventional position. That's a good decision. There's only one RT on either side. And the enemy RT... In this instance, happens to also be an AMX 13 F3, and he's just taken another 88 hit points off the ARL, and he's been killed. The kill shot went to the Jackson. Ellie Rox is extending his aim, going for a VK302M. Now that's the MAM version of the Panther prototype. Tier 6 rounds out. Just misses him, but splashes him from damage. He's moving position to avoid counter battery. That's good. Okay, now he's doing a quick counter battery there for the moment because there's no targets in sight other than those in the town. Oh, no, there are some targets in sight. There's a lot of them actually. And he's lining up a shot on the KV-2 and the VK. Rounds out. Hits both of them. It splashes the VK and does a fair bit of damage to the KV-2, 162 hit points. He's getting ready for another shot. The Jackson looks ripe. It's got very low armor. If you hit that, it will go down. It will die. Rounds out. Kill shot. 135 hit points. Okay, looking for the VK this time. Okay, he's decided to try and shoot into the town. Loaded. Go for the OI. Indicated target rounds out and direct hit. Accurate shots there, right onto the engine bay. He's lining up another shot. This time he's going to go down the valley. See if he can hit that VK. Now this is something where you have to multitask. You have to think about shooting on two different fronts at the same time. He fires around in. Unfortunately, this time it only splashes and stuns the VK. But he is the only defender on that side other than the KV-2. And we've got more urgent attackers coming out of the, the city or the town. Want to try and get that box tank if you can. He's got a very dangerous naval gun. Fires around in at the uh, Hellcat. Don't know if we did any damage. Oh, we just lost our Hellcat to a shot from a KV-2R. There he is. Almost loaded. Now, I don't think we can kill him with one shot, but we can probably try. 116. It's about what I expected. Gonna try another shot in the Hellcat. Uh, 
Okay, selecting a new target. There's the OI in the city. He's moving out the city. Oh, we find a... a, a oh my god, he got a direct hit with a snap snapshot. 63 hit points. Takes the OI out the game. That's an important kill. I know he'd, he was spending a lot of time in the town, but uh, that gun is potentially quite dangerous. Okay, going for the KV-2 in the valley or the VK? I go for the VK. It's got lower armor and he's moving forwards. Rounds out. Direct hit for 311 hit points. That's going to make him pull back. And our Jackson and Achilles are moving into a position so they can take him out. Now, they've also got good firepower, but we just lost the Achilles. KV-2 got a shot in. We're loaded. Going for the KV-2. And it's a direct hit for 187. Good shooting. Now, that Nashorn's moved up alongside, but we found the enemy RT. It's the AMX-13 F3. Now, RT tends to focus on RT the moment they get spotted because we know how effective RT can be, but... It looks like that one is about to get assassinated by that light tank. So instead, we're going to fire our round at the VK-3002 or the Nashorn. The Nashorn will make a better target. He's just killed one of our tanks. The VK-3601 going for the VK-3002 or the other... Well, he hits the Nashorn, sets him alight, and he burns up. So that was a good shot. There's only three enemies remaining. They've lost their RT. The KV-2 is returning to try and get shots at the T-52. We're almost loaded. Oh, T-52 took a big hit. We can go for the KV-2. We might be able to kill him. Yes! Nice shot. Potentially brings up the high caliber. Oh, but we lost the T-52. He was taken out by the enemy Hellcat. Okay, well, we're backing up. The enemy is now being boxed in. They've only got one left. It's the Hellcat. Our Jackson's moving down. He might be on that corner. So we're indicating to the Jackson that's where we're aiming. Our teammates are moving in from the east. There he is. Lining up a shot. He's coming into the dip. Rounds out. Oh, he stopped, but we splashed him for 173, but he killed the Jackson. Now, this is where the AMX-13 F3 becomes a TD. Because it's so fast and nippy, you can actually drive up somebody and derp them. I think the other guys have got this in hand. But we're going to shoot the Hellcat with an RT round instead. Here we go. Wait for him to come into view. He's gone behind that rock. Oh, we lost our SU-100. Rounds out. Kill shot. No. 66 hit points, but it tracks the Hellcat. The Amex 12 ton is on his side. Oh, no. No. We've got a Dicamax coming up to me, but it looks like the AMX-12 ton managed to flip himself on his side accidentally. And the Hellcat will probably take advantage of that and put him out of his misery. But we're coming down, and if we meet him coming the opposite way, we could shotgun him for the win. There he is. Okay, gone to the aim. Lining up a shot. Dickamax has gone in to get the kill. Kill shot! Wins the game. And potentially 2.5k of damage. And a high caliber. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. 
It's an ace tanker for Ellie Rocks in the AMX 13 F3 AM. He got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five. He got an arsonist for setting fire to a tank and watching it burn. That was the Nazorn. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 18. A gauze medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. And he also picked up a high caliber. So this was an exceedingly good game. And the win eight for this game was 5,708, which was super unicum standard. Let's have a look at the team score. There you go, top of the table, 2,534 hit points of damage. Well done indeed. The next high scorer was the Hellcat that he killed right at the end, 1,708 hit points for him. And the SU-100 managed 1,667. When it came to kills though, it was Elirox who managed to get the highest amount. He got five kills, uh, one third of the enemy team. And uh, the next high score after that was T52, who got three kills, so did the Hellcat. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns. He got 1,048 base experience points, 770 went for the SU100, and 767 for the T52. He fired 19 rounds in that game, got 12 direct hits and one penetration, damage of splash damage on 18. Damage of 2,534 hit points, of which 2,453 were at more than 300 meters. Now, I suspect the Nashorn was the one that he actually penetrated. Yes, it was. 600 hit points of damage with that shot. Now, he damaged 8 in the enemy, killed 5, did 106 hit points of damage assistance, and 121 hit points of stun assist of 15 stuns. On a free-to-play account, he earned 32,077 credits from the game, and after resupply of ammunition and consumables, took away 2,482 credits. He actually did use premium consumables during that game, and it, I, I can assure you, it does speed up the reload, and it also enables you to uh, uh, get accurate shots on target. It really is worth the credits. He also picked up four bonds, one for getting the high caliber and one for getting the gauze medal. And 1,048 base XP times two for the first victory. Took away 2,096 altogether. What a fabulous game that was. Congratulations on a lovely ace tanker. Uh, very nice to get one. And um, if you continue watching, there will be another video coming up from Ellie Rocks in a different tank very shortly. But uh, thank you for watching this one.